OK, now that I'm happy with the title, I can continue typing. I'll just click inside the box back on my page and add some more text. Welcome to my website. This page will show you how to use Dreamweaver to create tables, modify text, and add a hyperlink. OK, so let's modify the text a bit. I think the font looks a little too small next to our headline, so I'm going to highlight the text and then change the font to Arial. I do that by going down to the Properties box, changing the default font to Arial. OK, that looks a little better. Let's add a line break between the welcome and the description of the website. To do that, I just click where I want my break to be, and this time I'm just going to press Enter not shift plus enter like we did above. Now I'm going to highlight some of the different parts of the text just to show you how to change the properties. I'm going to highlight the name Dreamweaver and make it bold going down to the properties box and clicking B for bold and italicized clicking the I for italicized. The rest of the sentence could even be in bullet form, so I'm going to make some more changes. I'll insert a line break after the two, and while I'm at it, I'm going to put in the semicolon. I'm colon, I mean. And then I'm going to insert the line break. Then I'm going to head down to the properties box again and click on the bullet button. See how it changed the format of the text? We'll change it back once we're done with the bullets. Once you get a little bit more advanced, there are things called style sheets that will help you ensure that you don't have that happen. But for now, we'll just change the properties when we're done adding our list items. OK, so we have one bullet. We'll insert another list item by clicking after the Create Tables. And I'll remove the comma while I'm at it. And hitting Enter. And then I do the same thing for the next list item. You can either scroll through with your right arrow or click on your with your mouse. OK, so now I have three bullets. Now, since it's a list and I've covered a few more things than what I had originally written, I'm going to add one more bullet. So I'll click at the end of the sentence, hit Enter to add one more bullet, and add and more. To finish the list, I just hit enter again. That'll give me a new bullet. And then I go down to the properties box and uncheck the bullet icon. You see how it removed the bullet and justified my uh, cursor to the left again. OK, perfect. So now let's take care of the pesky little font change. We know how to do this already. Just highlight the text. Then go down to the Properties box and change the font to Arial. Moving on, I now want to add a hyperlink. So let's add one more line of text. To download your free 30 day, sorry, day trial of Dreamweaver, visit and I'll just head over to the website to copy the link. Let me go back a page here. Okay, that's the link I had given you at the beginning. So I'm just going to copy it, head back to Dreamweaver, and paste my link in there. First we'll change the font to match the rest of the page. And now we'll deal with adding the hyperlink. This is also done through the properties box. Let's highlight the text we want hyperlinked. It should already be in our clipboard from just having pasted it onto this page. So all we need to do is go down to the link field in the properties box 
and paste the text inside it. There's also a tiny little box below the field called Target. Because we're going to be sending our visitors to a website that isn't ours, we want the target to be set to blank. What that means is that once your visitor clicks on that link, a new browser window will open for the website. Generally, when you're linking to content that isn't your own, you want to have a new browser window open. We do this so that the person can easily return to your site once they're done browsing on the other website. Have you ever followed a link where on a website that was related to the site but not written by the website owner? Maybe someone was pointing to an article that they read in an online magazine and you chose to link to that article to read it, finished reading it and closed the link and then lost the original site that you were reading? By having external links, a website that isn't created by you, open in a new browser, you can avoid that from happening. But you only need to do this for external links. And if you link to other pages in your website, you don't need to set the target. Just leave that field empty. Okay, so now we have our basic web page. There's our link, there's our bullets, we have edited some text, we have a title. So let's take a look at what Dreamweaver has done to code it for us to use online. At the top left, you'll see two additional buttons, Split and Code. Click on Code. This is what the page you just created looks like in HTML. If you want to start understanding how some of the code is written, switch to Split Mode. And let me just adjust my screen so that you can actually see the split. Okay. Um, that will show you both, the, as you can see, it'll show you both the code view and the design view together. You can zoom in on the code by highlighting the text in design mode, and then you'll see that it's highlighted the same area in the code mode, and then the text around it is what's the actual code in HTML. But as you can see, it's really not necessary to know how to create the code. Dreamweaver does it for you. Using Dreamweaver, you can maintain and design fairly comprehensive websites all without having to learn HTML coding. If you have any questions, please contact me.